Storm friends here. Uh, you know, Tempo Storm as an organization in, is well known in uh, Hearthstone as well for being able to make picks. And I'm, I'm excited to see uh, that they're keeping pace here in Brawl Stars. We'll be playing in Canal Grande next, a bounty map where it's all about getting those kills early on. Grabbing that star to begin with, Tooney uh, is going to give the lead for IX Circles. Yeah, similar comp and uh, Sprout being banned is definitely going to change the uh, the dynamic of the way that we see Canal Grande being played out today for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, for me, this is uh, the ideal pick and uh, OG and uh, Tuni definitely going to be looking to get the right timings of their speed boost and their gadget to be able to go on the aggressive here. Uh, for the moment though, the star was gained off the outset by IX Circles and uh, they're going to be looking to, uh, to not give away more stars in terms of kills here, but a great pinch off. Early pressure. Oh, she actually goes down there. And not a great start for Tempestorm. Yeah, awesome job to slash, but unfortunately he gets taken out right afterwards. Daddy second getting an epic to kill to pull ahead now for IX Circles. And another one! Alec goes down, no use. Tooney uh, has been able to get another kill and, and IX Circles are now far, far ahead. On the retreat now, Tooney is gonna just barely evade the last shot there from Bobby. And it's gonna be a team up over on Alec on the right side, retreating now uh, with use of that super busting down some of the barriers there. But IX Circles have got a great lead in this bounty set. My goodness, Tooney just clinged on for dear life there and uh, forcing Alex to the left side lane as he was going to struggle otherwise. Uh, I do like the way that Tooney is playing Jackie very aggressively and uh, definitely showing good signs of knowing his positioning and where to capitalize uh, here. And uh, I, I X circles here for me, looking very strong. And Tempestorm, I've got a lot to do in the next 30 seconds to be able to pick up their pace. Yeah, you really got to see OG sweep around to the backside and get the sandwich move on this IX Circle scene, but it's not going to be very likely to happen. If Daddy Second can get the kill, knocks another one down, and that is a massive star point lead for IX Circles. Seems like there's no way for Tempo Storm to catch up at this point. With the timer running down, IX Circles will retreat and with a smile on their face, claim victory, cashing that out at the bank. Wow, dominating performance then from IX Circles and uh, Bounty definitely see actually in the, the next game. All right, we're going to see M's being played uh, here by Alec on the bottom. M's running in. Great mid-range brawler who can get a lot of splash damage if the enemy team stacks up. So that's going to be uh, the order of the day for Tempo Storm, trying to get this IX Circles team out of position. They've been stacking up together pretty frequently in the last game, and they're going to have to spread out a lot more this time if they want to be able to emerge victorious yet again. Really like what I'm seeing from Alec. I like the choice of going with M's and just herding IX Circles back into spawn to allow Bobby and OG to do their thing. We know that Bobby likes to play Gene. And oh. The ball, Tootie. Wow, Tootie's going to escape. <laughs> Great job there. Bobby kind of forced into an awkward spot. Can't walk into that incendiary or he's going to die. It's going to be a chance now to get the first kill. Can OG get it? Fire and Rose rockets away at Daddy Second and Tooney. A big pull from Bobby, but Slash is going to jump away using that gadget once again. Kill from Alec over on the right side, though. I wasn't even watching. What happened over there, Ark? I think Bobby went for the pull and slash, and I think he connected with the uh, terrain of the map prior to uh, to, the, to the actual person, but prior to hitting slash. So two shots got hit off on slash and not three there, but Bobby showing the good signs of hitting his pulls though. Consistency here is very important, and those hey, here we go, G oh. he gets the takedown this time. Bobby is on fire, getting great pulls all the time, day and night on that left side, grabbing those shots off and now finally rewarded for the kill. Alec to back him up with another shot. Tempo Storm have really turned this set around and are dominant in game number two off the back of Alec with two kills so far in this game. Yeah, I, I, like I said, the M's pick for me has done absolute favors for Tempo Storm, but it's got to be noted that two kills is only one Oh! This, but not any more of a pull like that from Bobby, extending the lead for Tempo Storm. Eight stars to one. This looks like it's going to be a wrap for IX Circles this time around. The Clutch King Bobby puts another nail in the coffin, grabbing Tooney, pulling him over there and finishing him off. Nicely done to Tempo Storm in game number two, picking up a lot of those circle, no pun intended, to give them the victory on this next game. Well, it's Slambulance now for Tempo Storm. They're running both Jackie and BB with Poco to back it up. Wow, Tooney making a very daring charge in here, going straight for OG, who's got his super charged up, uses it to stay alive. Bobby gets another shot off, but goes down to slash his super. That's going to be a lead for IX Circles, four to two stars, and Alec is in a tricky spot. Can he retreat with so much firepower face right at him? Daddy second takes the shot and finishes off Poco. That's a big lead for IX Circles, Ark. 
a great start for Ajax Circles. Now, I've got to say, I love that approach of just going super, super aggressive early on. Tuli popping Gadget to get and close that distance on OG, giving uh, Ajax Circles a, a great positioning here to go on the, uh, the passive, to go on the defensive, and just continue to cycle in these stars here. Hats off to them. Tempo Storm are going to be in a tricky spot now, doing their best to catch back up. But Alec, man, is he over committing on that push. IX Circles now with a seven star lead are going to be very difficult to catch up to for Tempo Storm. It's all up to Daddy Second to keep that uh, brick wall in place over on the left side. Bobby doing uh, his hardest to try to sneak through, but not going to have any of it. No dice this time. And Alec26 with the super is going to get just the one kill he was hoping for. Daddy Second is the crucial target that Tempo Storm have to finish off. Yeah, if they get that six stars in the bank, it will give them uh, 13 stars then. Over oh, Bobby, Bobby might get it. Here. He, he takes the, the kill. 13 to 50, but they still need one more kill. Daddy, no! Why are you letting yourself open to that sort of an attack? Now what seemed to be a dominant performance from IX Circles is just a two-star advantage, and any kill could even the score. Can Tempo Storm make it happen? It's going to be a close final moment here with Bobby trying to advance upon Slash, who does a defensive super in retaliation, but now no super on the defense. Oh, the pull from Alex! How do you support this? could be a devastating turnaround! 15 stars each! Tempo Storm are being so daring now! and have managed to survive a draw. My goodness me, we're doing this all again. Come back in any game of the entire day so far, and it didn't even result in a win for Tempo Storm. Still, even set score one to one against IX Circles, a team that has been super strong in the early game of each of these rounds so far. Let's see if they're able to back that up with picking up that first star. Uh, they're getting corner over in the top, though. Slash goes down to a nice snipe from Bobby. We're trying to see uh, an equalizer from Toonie. Wow, barely hops out of the way in time. That gadget just saved his life. Yeah, I like uh, Slash's change to M's, but at the moment, uh, not able to get the value that I know that he wants to achieve. But we'll be able to hold back OG uh, very nicely there on that right hand side, which is why. Oh, the pull! The left hand side pull gets the takedown! Four stars to Tempestorm. IX Circles not playing Gene means that they have got to get a ton of damage out uh, and be able to focus it all on the same brawler. Tempo Storm is just relying on consistent pulls and high damage output from all of their brawlers to be able to get those kills. Uh, and it looks like that's working for them so far. Nice turnaround there from Toonie taking out OG on the right side, uh, but still down two stars against a Tempo Storm team that is playing very cool and collected. Yeah, Alec had the choice to maybe go in to try to finalize that kill on Tuni. I probably would have maybe considered that more so because now look at this push coming in from IX Circles, uh, pinching back Tempestorm into their spawn. Shots on Alec, and the takedown from Slash is there, giving IX Circles the lead now with 40 seconds left on the clock. All right, just a one-star lead, not a whole lot to be proud of, but it's going to be enough if they can just keep hold of the middle and prevent any kills on the incoming. Nice shot there from OG. It's going to get his supercharged up just a little bit more. Takes a shot at Daddy Second, misses. It's going to be all right on this attack. Bobby gets the pull. That's a huge turnaround. Tempo Storm have the lead again. And a super ready in the bag for Bobby to use again, putting a lot of pressure now on Ajax Circles to even push because Bobby can pull you in. And with the support of OG and Alec here, oh! about 30 more stars in the bag. But no! Slash gets the kill on Bobby! He's turned the tides in the final seconds! It's gonna go to the way of Ajax Circles! What a turnaround! And that is why you 